We are discussing the topics that have got you all talking today. We're joined by Nicola Thorpe and Matthew Wright. Welcome to you both. Morning. Obviously, uh, the story that everybody's talking about and has been talking about since Saturday evening is the very, very sad news that Caroline Flack took her own life. Um, what were your first thoughts, Nicola, when you heard about this? I mean, I was with a group of friends um, and we were all quite open about talking about our own mental health issues. And, um, yeah, the mood was really sombre, I think, probably also because we weren't necessarily surprised because look what, you know, the spotlight that this woman was being put under and reasonably so, obviously, through the CPS because of alleged assault charges, etc. But everything else that goes on top of that now, my group of mates, I've experienced, you know, attempted suicide, suicidal thoughts, etc. Yourself? You mean, Myself, not... yeah, I, in 2012. And that was just when people close to me knew about what I was going through. Now, to think that anyone in the world could find out uh, details of that level of my personal life just by going on the internet and, and searching and for my name and commenting on yeah. it is very, very difficult. And what we need to remember, a lot of people are saying, you know, well, she played the game. She was in the public eye. Now, everybody is in the public eye nowadays. In, in terms of social media, we're all searchable for. And I strongly, strongly believe that victims of domestic violence should not be named in the press, and I actually don't believe there's much of a case for alleged uh, accused, the, the, the alleged, the alleged the perpetrator, perpetrator to be named in the press because of mm. the stress and um, the mental health issues. But that's that come with what with comes it. with celebrity, Matthew, isn't it? Is that the the police were called? None of mm. us know absolutely what they found and what happened. A mm. lot of it is speculation, um, but it, that is going to be reported on I, if you're in the public eye. I'm broadly with Nicola. I I don't have much of a problem with the CPS. Um, it's ludicrous for people to make allegations against the CPS when they themselves haven't seen all the evidence that the CPS may have amassed, so I think we have to park that. Mm. I am... Um, I share a lot of the views that we heard from Emma Jones, actually. You know, we had a Leveson inquiry, uh, in part because of excesses by the press. The inquiry came in two parts. The first part, only half of it has been accepted, and the second part was totally disregarded by you the very people who commissioned You part of the press, I, 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 I have been part of the problem, yeah. and now I'd like to see myself as part of the solution. Mm -hmm. I think that certain newspapers, uh, some of the ones that have been already named on her death, were writing the articles about her and simultaneously putting boxes about caring about your mental health, and I think there is a disconnect whether it's conscious or unconscious, in newspapers, that somehow they think you can champion mental health by putting in helpline numbers while simultaneously dumping all over people but day Matthew, in, also, day out. How much of a game changer has social media it gives been... It gives the newspapers another get-out, doesn't it? We're only doing what the public is interested in. We're re representing public feeling, but actually public feeling is as divided over that as it is on everything else. They are very selective about what side of so public... Social media is just an extension of what the press are putting out anyway, it's and they get that immediate feedback. I mean, I, I was appalled at some of the stuff that I read this morning, even, about Caroline. Yeah, me too. And what sort of things? Uh, I, about her mental health, blaming, blaming her mental health for what happened to her, and I just think it's worth saying, because I've got the platform maybe to do it, that depression isn't always this, um, sorry, suicide isn't always this long, drawn-out thing that is premeditated. It can be something... A lot of people are saying she chose to end her life. No. It is not a choice. Suicide is something that happens when you do not have a choice left, and it can happen like that, and that's a scary thing. Well, you believe thing, you don't have a choice. You that's the sad that's thing. That's it, when you And that's you the sad believe. thing for people left behind, as you say, so just... many people loved you. Yeah. You did have a choice. You could have called me. Of course. Good cool mum. Yeah. And uh, Caroline had even spoken herself about the fact that she felt like a burden. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's worth people knowing that that's what's going on in, in someone's head who su suffers with mental health issues, is that they feel like they're a burden. It's great. <laughs>